Elon Musk has once again taken the world by surprise by confirming something truly unexpected in the upcoming 2026 Tesla Model 2, a gap measuring 0.9 meter right in the vehicle's chassis structure. This single revelation has sparked waves of excitement and concern throughout the global automotive industry. Some people are applauding, others are worrying, and a few are quietly questioning if this daring approach could lead to structural weakness at the worst possible time. But if you recall what Musk promised, it was never just about a new car, he promised a complete change in how vehicles are built. Revolutions always bring doubt. And this gap has become the center of the most intense safety discussions Tesla has faced so far. Before we go any further, welcome to Amp Drive. We recently hit 1,000 subscribers and we are deeply grateful for your support. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Amp Drive community. Your support helps us bring you all the latest on Tesla, Elon Musk's innovations, and the future of electric transportation. So now let's dig deep into what this 0.9 meter gap really means. Is this a flaw or a brilliant leap forward? Today we are looking at all the exclusive engineering data that shows this bold chassis layout is actually stronger than the traditional welded frames found in most cars. Let's get into it. Let us begin with the question. Why would Tesla choose mega casting over the traditional method of assembling cars using welded parts? Why would they completely move away from a process used for decades in car manufacturing and replace it with a totally new one? The answer is hidden in something most car buyers never even consider, the actual way your car's body is built. And that difference could one day save your life. Every regular vehicle you see today on the road is made of about 400 stamped metal sections. These parts are welded together using thousands of tiny weld points. Take the example of a typical sedan. Experts suggest it includes around 400 individual parts connected by approximately 1,600 separate weld spots. That's 1,600 possible weak points in the most important safety structure protecting your life. When you look at it closely, the numbers are shocking. Each weld point carries around 0.5 to 1% chance of failure when exposed to severe stress. Multiply that small risk by 1,600 and suddenly you realize how vulnerable traditional structures actually are. But safety is only one part of the equation. These welds cost money and time too. Each car takes an extra 2 to 3 hours on the production line just for welding. That translates to an extra $500 to $1,000 in production expenses, money that ends up being paid by you. Imagine driving around in a machine held together by tiny points of metal, each a possible weak spot. That is why Tesla's team of engineers made a bold decision that shook the auto world from Detroit to London. Tesla abandoned the usual process and introduced the mega casting method. Instead of welding hundreds of smaller parts together, Tesla now uses huge presses weighing between 6,000 and 9,000 tons. These massive machines, housed in special buildings, create large aluminum pieces in one shot, including the front and back underbody sections. Instead of 400 separate parts, Tesla's process now involves only two or three major castings. This change brings a major shift in production. Assembly time goes down by 30%. Manufacturing expenses are cut by up to 40%. That is a cost saving of around $5,000 to $7,000 per Model 2. And this is exactly how Tesla plans to offer a Model 2 for less than $25,000, something no other company has managed with this level of advanced engineering. And now comes the role of the 0.9 meter gap. This gap, far from being a flaw, is the clever center of the design. Most traditional car builders think more welds mean stronger frames. But Tesla's engineering team discovered the opposite. Instead of thousands of tiny points of connection, they created two large aluminum castings, one at the front, one at the rear, and connected them using the battery pack. This battery pack works as a stiff, structural floor. The 0.9 meter area is where these three parts join together, forming a single, extremely strong body. In a traditional vehicle, the underbody weighs around 270 kilograms. Tesla's new casting design reduces this to about 198 kilograms, a 27% drop in structural weight. 
That lower weight means faster acceleration, longer driving range, and most importantly, fewer failure points over time. A 72 kg reduction in weight is not just about performance, it changes the very limits of what electric cars can become. And this is about more than technology, it's about affordability. Thanks to the savings in manufacturing, families with average incomes may finally afford an electric vehicle. With government incentives and Tesla's efficient production process, the Model 2 might soon be available at a price below $25,000, opening the doors to clean transportation for millions. But let me ask you something, if you knew that your current car was held together by thousands of tiny welds, would that give you peace of mind? Or would it make you uneasy every time you hit a speed bump or drive over a pothole? Let me know in the comments and include the phrase mega casting so I know you're really following this story. Now let us talk about the strength of that 0.9 meter gap. How could having fewer connection points make a vehicle even safer? Sounds hard to believe, right? But the proof lies in engineering facts. For decades, American car makers believed safety came from adding more welds. But Tesla discovered the problem was not the lack of joints, it was the poor quality and high quantity of them. Tesla uses special aluminum mixtures with strength levels between 140 and 175 megapascals. These materials are also very conductive, between 45 and 55 percent compared to copper standards. In comparison, standard automotive aluminum rarely goes beyond 120 megapascals. That means Tesla's materials are around 40 percent stronger. And when you are in a crash, that strength can mean the difference between life and death. Tesla also avoids traditional welding in the connection area. Instead, they use aerospace level adhesives and bolts with tensile strength above 1200 megapascals. That's a level of strength you usually see in jet planes, not affordable cars. During the assembly process, each joint receives around 15 to 20 tons of pressure, that's over 30,000 pounds holding the pieces together so tightly they practically become one. The bonded area is huge, around 2.7 square meters. Compare that to the tiny 2 mm wide welds in standard vehicles and the difference becomes clear. Tesla's approach spreads crash forces across a much larger area, reducing the risk of failure dramatically. And Tesla has the data to prove it. The Model 2's structure is 30% more resistant to twisting than the Model 3. That makes the vehicle more stable and better able to protect passengers during a collision. The frame is also about 20% lighter, from 225 kg to only 180 kg, which means better control during emergency driving situations. Production is also much faster. Old methods take around 6 hours per chassis and require dozens of checks. Tesla's casting completes a section in 10 minutes. That is 36 times more efficient. So what does this mean for everyday families? They're not just getting a cheaper car. They're getting one built to higher standards. A structure that is smarter, safer, and stronger than anything made using older methods. Those crash forces that hit the 0.9 meter connection point are handled by aerospace technology, not outdated welds. And it does not end there. Tesla's engineers designed this layout using inspiration from human biology, specifically, the human spine. Like our spines, which combine rigid bones with flexible joints to handle stress, the Model 2 uses strong castings and flexible high-strength joints. This lets crash forces spread out rather than concentrate in one area. Think of it this way, your spine doesn't break because it has joints. It stays strong because it has joints. Tesla even tested this technology in the Cybertruck, which survived 50 km per hour off-road hits without any damage to the joints. If that works for a huge off-road vehicle, it gives us an idea of what the smaller Model 2 can do on regular roads. For those concerned about repair costs, Tesla's casting method also brings benefits. Fewer parts mean fewer things that can go wrong. Repairs cost less, between $200 to $500 for small issues, while traditional cars might cost over $1,000 for similar fixes. Even the large casting sections can be swapped or repaired easily using aluminum welding. 
this is a car built not just for performance, but for long-term savings. In the end, what most companies do not want you to realize is this, Tesla's so-called stitched-together chassis is not a flaw. It is the future. The 0.9-meter gap is not a weakness. It is a smart design choice that gives us stronger, lighter, safer, and more affordable cars. Now that you know the truth, do you see this design in a new light? Let us know by typing just one word in the comments, yes. And if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do it now to be part of the next exciting reveal. Stay with us on AmpDrive as we bring you the latest in Tesla's game-changing technology.